<laughs> what is going on? <sighs> Sounds like Brody and Marlin. What's that? There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Just once, I would like to come across a normal group. Stay Just safe. fucking once. Are you okay? They you also have disco broccoli? Don't worry. I'll find out what's going on. I know. Disco broccoli will protect you. Oh, but that's not disco broccoli. That's the fake ripoff. Definitely Brody. No, it's getting quiet again. I just wanted to see if there was anything that way. Just a little farther. Basement. both sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. Don't worry, I already know one. The yard. <laughs> ah, damn it. You know, Marla was looking good. Like an actual good person. Why does the game have to ruin it? God, this feels like the St. John's Dairy all over again. Just hopefully they're not cannibals. Storm's coming. According to the map, should be another entrance to the basement around here. Well, since I have the ability to literally look around, let's grab brick. Nice, that's going to be good for a weapon. You have brick. Heavy. Maybe look around. Maybe there's some more Run weapons. I can... Shut up. I'm just going over here. I want to look around. If the game's gonna give me the ability to look around, I am going to take the take the opportunity. Rosie. Yeah, let Rosie sleep.
definitely Brody and Marlin. I am not gonna like what I find, am I? You don't even know for sure was that. She also said he got bit. Which means he ain't gonna bother us. You know he's not alone. Those bastards are back, and it's only a matter of time before they find us. You know that oh, shit! Nothing to you! There you go again, getting so mad! What do you want me to do? You're making me mad! Now we have to tell the others about what you did! Sam! Show yourself! Clem! What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. You're not getting rid of me that easily. Tell the others what. Please, this is a private conversation. Okay? It doesn't concern you. It does, since I'm living here. The man you met at the station, we got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlin let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed of what she Oh! What'd you say? I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? Good, Miyuk. I promise. God damn it! Help! Did you say that? I told you not to say it! Please be okay. How? What can I do? Just, just stay with her. There's, there's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? A first aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Clementine, remember? Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. I'll deal with Marlon. I promise you that. Yeah. Yeah, you will. You're strong. And he's not. If those raiders come back, said he'd let him take you. Take us? To make him go away. <laughs> like he did. <laughs> like he did with ten sisters. <laughs> Brody. <clears throat> oh, fuck. No. What am I gonna do? She's gonna turn. Marlin! Oh crap. Marlin, you son of a bitch! Don't do this! I'm sorry. I can't let you talk to the others. Damn it! Marlin! Anyone! AJ! Huh. There's a gap. Something really thin. I could force it in there and lift up the latch. God it damn it. It's dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help. Uh, she was right there. Has she already turned?
Oh, now it start stops working. How is she already is turned? Yes, this will work. You have ruler thin enough. I'm getting very strong Last of Us feels. Crap. Yep. Hold. Really? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't have time for this. Get the fuck off me. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> well, time for Marlon to die. Great. Is that it? Is that the end of the episode? We're already nearing two and a half hours. First off, good. Great episode length so far. And it'll be even better if this keeps going for a little while longer. I did no what? such thing. Is that blood on your face? Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? That's bullshit, Marlin! Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open. That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! Jesus Christ, Clap, what did you do? We saved their lives when anyone else would have kept walking! Fed them, we kept them warm, and this is how they thank us! Guns being pulled and murder! Well, fuck them! Fuck! Marlin! Jesus Christ! You shoot me, and what do you offer up to your raider friends when they come knocking? What the hell is she talking about? He won't do it, because he needs us alive! Shut up! Brody told me Marlin was going to give me and AJ up to Raiders in exchange for safety. The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. Wait. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Clementine. Let her talk. Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her. Oh, come the fuck on. They only met up with these Raiders because Clem insisted they go out there. Quite the coincidence, isn't it? 
Damn, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and a little fucking lunatic? Or me? Your friend? Then pull the trigger. She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders is just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. We don't know her, y'all. I hate to say it, but we don't. Damn it, why am I doing Violet? Believe me. Why did I do Violet? I should have done Lewis. I don't! You met her like two days ago! I don't know you, Clem. Not really. Yeah, I should have done Lewis. Fuck. I'm sorry. So you'll let Marlin shoot me? Seriously? Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what would Minnie want you to do? She was my friend, too. So was Brody. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. We'll all feel safer once I pull this trigger. You were there that day those raiders came? You would have abandoned you two. It's working. It's working. Yeah! Your relationship with Violet has changed. Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Marlon. Be reasonable. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! God, that voice acting is still so great. All of you! You're failing spectacularly. Oh, you are fucking failing! Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. If they came back, I'd do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. <laughs> Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. Easy, because he's a coward. Your relationship with Ten has changed. I wanted to get them states some kind of rescue. Honest, Ten, I just couldn't. I was... So you're a coward. You killed Brody because she knew. I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. I didn't want to hurt them. We can still fix this, Marlin. I should have grabbed the gun. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. Oh, I really should have went for that gun. Oh, sweet. Cool. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You never have to see me again. Just Oh, you think I'm letting you leave? A bad memory. Yeah, me no way in hell. Please. If you really think Oh! Jesus Christ! Hey, Jay! What? I ain't 
for the head. Ah, oh, god damn it. Episode 1 done running. Trophy Urn Protector. God damn it! We needed him. We could have used him. Ah. Uh. I'm just looking at the uh, credits right now. Crap. Alright, choices. Fucking goddammit. You and 52% of players kill the walker couple in the train station. 48% of players shows that AJ go through the window in the train station. Now, this is still relatively new. This is on the day of release, so. You and 44% of players went hunting with Lewis and a sim. 56% of players went fishing with Violet and Brody. Executive producer Brody Anderson. Ha! I wonder where they got the name from for Brody's character. You and 50% of players convinced AJ to sleep on the bed. 50% let AJ sleep under the bed. Wait, what the- 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 JT Petty? JT Petty had an additional writing credit on this episode? And Gary Witt, I see. Gary Witt, I knew, was working on this. Since when did JT Petty start... He was the he was a co-writer for Amid the Ruins, and he was an outside writer, but interesting. Interesting to see him come back. You and 61% of players attacked Abel rather than giving him food. 39% of players surrendered food to Abel. Just looking at this cast. Well, Marlin's gone already. Damn. Kind of liked him. Even if he did went bad. Ah, the French cast. Right, I forgot they have. Yeah. You and 58% of players turned to Violet for help against Marlin. 42% turned to Lewis. Those are my choices. Brody, dead. She was appalled when you downplayed the encounter with Abel. I wonder if she could stay alive then. Violet. You and 58% of players left Violet feeling guilty. She was annoyed when you didn't rebuff Lewis's flirtations. Violet was flattered after you com comforted her in the dorm rooms. You and 35% of players left Ten feeling bitter. Ten was understanding of your hesitancy when you first met him. When you allowed him to draw you, when he allowed him to draw you, he generously gifted you his drawing. Then why is that bitter? Marlin dead. Marlin was relieved to be forgiven for his action towards the twins and Brody. He felt proud when he trusted him with Rosie. You and 58% of players left Lewis feeling heartbroken. He left lonely. He felt lonely when you chose to hunt rabbits with a sim. When you told him about killing a loved one, he sympathized with your pain. Great. Now I'm out of prison and I got me a friend. You and 25% left AJ heart 25% left AJ hearted. AJ felt comforted when you convinced him to sleep on the bed. He was satisfied when you attacked Abel at the train station. Oh, look at that. Even more additional stats. The state of the school. Omar was glad you checked on in on him before dinner. Ruby was disgusted when you encouraged AJ's bad manners. I did not! He learned how to bond with Rosie with Marlin's help. Mitch was happy to show his weaponry skills to you. A Sim appreciated that you helped him hunt rabbits. Willie was fascinated by you when you met him for the first time. Collected five of six. The deer skull, the two flowers, the drawings, and I have no idea what that is, but that is cool. Is there a next time? Please tell me there is a next time. There is not going to be a next time. There is not a next time. Hang on, I wonder if I could sign in. Can I sign into my...
All right. Now, before I get into my thoughts on the episode, let's look at the other episodes in this list. We have They Don't Tell You. Oh, no, no there, there they are. There they are. Interesting. They, at least they got a different design for each episode. That's that's actually... This is much better than the Netflix-style menus they've been doing for the previous seasons, including A New Frontier. Episode 2, Suffer the Children. Episode 3, Broken Toys. Oh, God! And the last episode is, of course, Nate, take us back. The song that was used at the end of season 1 during the credits when after Lee died. Oh, my God, fuck you! All right, so this was the first episode done running of Telltale's The Walking Dead, the final season. Two and a half hours long. Thank you so much. Finally, a long episode from you guys. It's already longer than a season two average episode. This is on par with season one. This was on par with season one in terms of episode lengths. Certainly more so than A New Frontier. God, I don't think he even got two and a half hours out of the first two episodes, which were all one episode with Ties That Pine Part 1 and 2. So it's great to see that. It is great to see that. So good. Again, and I have to re really reiterate because it's just so awesome. The third-person camera really adds a lot to the environment. It really adds so much to the interaction, really adds to the exploration. It does, and it seems like they are taking advantage of it, because there's so much to actually... You're actually in control of Clem for a lot. You're certainly in control of her more than you were in some episodes of Season 2 so far, and this is definitely on par with Season 1 as of now. As of, as of now, in terms of playability. And it's great to see that. And there is some cool stuff with the combat. We've seen with the combat, like the unscripted combat. Now, a lot of it is kind of still repetitive. It's simple circle, take out the knees, and then knife attack. But you added something with the traps. That was awesome. That was a great feature. And again, and just... Oh, man. Writing is really good so far. I thought the writing was on point. Really, uh, the characters, we actually know something about these characters. That card game was fun. The card game, they hyped that, that, that card game. That was a great part of it. It was really good. And we learned a bit more about them. We got to talk about Lee. Talk about the time before. I feel like it could have gone on for a bit longer. I would have liked it to go on a bit longer, but I am glad they included that scene in the game. Because, well... The, the alternative is don't do anything like that and just rush through all this stuff, which is good to see that they did not do that. And I'm glad to see that Adam Douglas can actually write a good fucking episode. Because he wrote four of the five episodes of A New Frontier, and including the sole writer as the last episode, and I hated that episode with a burning passion. And I have my own thing on that in regards to episode five's review in my A New Frontier review series. But the writing on this was really strong throughout, I gotta say. Although, I will say, I still like Marlon's character as a whole, even though I I did not, I guess, kind of like how they just... They did... He wasn't just completely the villain, so I'll give him that, but... I really was kind of hoping that for once we could just have a community that isn't hiding something, isn't hiding a deep past, or a leader that isn't, you know, kind of evil... But I still like what they did with his character. He was still a good character, even though he's now dead. I wonder if he's alive. I wonder if he's alive in other versions. Because AJ seems to have uh, shot him because I told him to aim for the head. At least that's what he says. I wonder if my choices reflect that in Marlin may be alive, along with Brody. Because Brody is uh, dead but in my game. But I'm not sure if she's alive in other people's games, along with Marlin. Maybe other people die. I have no idea. I'm going to find out when I go on the forums and see other playthroughs. But I guess we'll have to see what happens. Overall, though, great episode. And, you look, there are some maybe problems that I may have with it, but honestly, this is so much better already than what we got in A New Frontier. Seriously, A New Frontier... I can't even say, like, the pacing was bad in this episode. That, that was my, one of the biggest problems I had with A New Frontier. The pacing. The pacing was atrocious. It was all over the place. It was rushed. It was slow. But it was really rushed. That was the problem with 
A New Frontier was that it was rushed. This took its time to get there and build up the characters, build up what's happening so far. And I hope the rest of the season is like that. So props to Telltale. And that's what happens when you have longer episodes. Imagine if this was cut down to the hour and 15, hour, or even an hour and a half. How much would have to be cut if they shortened it? Because this was two and a half hours. Try taking an hour out of that. The gameplay that's taken away. The character building that's taken away. All those scenes that are now taken away. We had that. I wonder if that is the influence of Gary Wood. Gary Wood is definitely bringing a season one vibe to it. Because I saw that Mark Darren's working on this. He was a writer for season one and a designer for season one. But I'm not exactly sure how involved he's going to be with the project. Or how he's involved with the story. I didn't really see his full name on the writing credit, uh, on the credits, like what his title is on this project. But Gary Witta does bring back a season one feel because he was the story consultant. He was the narrative consultant. And he had an additional writing credit on this episode. And you wonder if he's bringing some of that season feel, nostalgia, and vibe back to this game in terms of developing these characters or longer episodes to tell the story. You wonder, like how much he is actually going to contribute to this. It's interesting to think about. But, um... But I'm not I'm not here... I don't want to, like, set, make it sound like I'm praising Gary Witta like he can do no wrong, because, let's face it, he also co-wrote After Earth with M. Night fucking Shyamalan, so clearly he is not all good. He has some problems, but... I don't want to make this sound like I'm insulting Gary Witta. I think he's fine. I think... He's pretty good, and I'm glad to see him back, because if this is the type of quality we're going to get from this final season, then I'm going to be really excited to see what comes. And I am really excited to see what comes. This is... I... God damn, this was a great episode. Um, Telltale said they like to get these episodes done by the end of the year, so episode 4 is going to probably come in December, and episode 2 is probably going to be out in September. Did I say episode 4 for December, or did I say episode 4 for September? I meant episode 2 for September, episode 4 for December. <sighs> Suffer the children. I wonder if AJ doesn't shoot him. I wonder if you can, like, maybe take Marlon prisoner. I wonder if it's possible to lose that exchange, or if everyone just rallies around Clem no matter what. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see how all the choices impact this. They did great with Batman's The Enemy Within, especially in that last episode in regards to John Doe and the Joker. So we'll see what happens when episode two comes out. And I'll see how big the choices mattered when we when I go onto the forums and watch other playthroughs. But hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope for all of you who are out there who are playing it, you also enjoy this as much as I did. It feels great to finally see The Walking Dead back. And back to form, too. We waited two years, almost more than two years, for what ended up happening in A New Frontier, and that was, at the best, disappointing, at the worst, trash. And it's good to finally see The Walking Dead back to form. Clementine, once again, great, terrific voice acting overall, especially for Melissa Hutchinson, especially for the voice actor of Marlin. I really am interested to see where the story goes. And let's face it, Lily is almost definitely the leader of these raiders. Almost definitely. I can imagine that's going to be something revealed in episode two. I can almost guarantee you. I'm willing to put money on this. I am willing to put money on it. But, yeah, that's going to be it for The Walking Dead. Episode one, done, running. And I hope to see you guys around for episode two, Suffer the Children. <laughs>